Good morning, sisters, brothers, friends, and family. How are y'all doing this morning? Um, I'm at work. I, I got a few minutes and um, I got a little nugget brewing. So um, I'm really excited about this one. It's dear to my heart. Yesterday I had one of my sisters and uh, Sister Michelle. I was cutting her hair and we were just sharing some awesome things about the Lord. And, um, you know, when I was finishing her hair, um, I said, you know, if you don't seize it, you can't seize it. And as soon as I said that, I just started laughing and I said, you know what? That's going to be the title of the next nugget. So I'm sitting here at work and it's just coming to me. And then, so if you don't S-E-E-S, -E -E seize it, you can't S-E-I-Z, seize it. If you don't see it, you can't seize it. This isn't about visual visualization. This is about being able to see with your spiritual eyes something that God has placed within your heart. Uh, one of the promises, whatever God's promises are, it doesn't matter because we're trying human beings. We're spirit, soul, and body. And if you can't see yourself, that's why the word, thank you, Holy Spirit, the word of God says, let the poor say, I am rich. Okay, so if you're poor and you don't have anything, if you can't see See yourself prospering one day. Here you are, you're tithing, you're sowing, you're doing everything in the natural. You're walking by faith and not by sight, and you're prophesying the word. You're being obedient to the commandments of the Lord. Well, if you're doing everything, if you're obeying the Lord and you're tithing, you should be able to see yourself prospering one day. You should be able to see yourself. Go, God's taking you to a wide, broad place. He's saying to strive Strengthen your, uh, to strengthen your, the stretch your tent pegs, lengthen and strengthen your cords. You have to see that the Lord's going to take you to a wide place. He said he's going to give you houses you didn't build, vineyards you didn't plant, you know, um, wells that you didn't dig. You have to know that God says, you know, he takes pleasure in the prosperity of his saints. And if you can't see yourself prospering, then you can't seize it. So thank you, Holy Spirit. I bind um, every spirit of blindness off of your eyes. For the God of this world hath blinded their minds and hardened their hearts, lest they not see with their eyes. Uh, he, the Lord wants to remove the spiritual blinders. Every spiritual blinder, tentacle, scale, veil, and cataract be removed. May you have Holy Ghost 2020 vision. May you have the eyes of the Spirit of Holy Spirit, that you can see what he wants you to see, that you can go where he wants you to go, do what he wants you to do, and be who he wants you to be. Amen. So yes, I bind every spirit of hopelessness and despair in Jesus' mighty name. He says, let the poor say, I am rich. He says, say to the mountain, whatever's standing in your way, you got to say. You have to do a prophetic act. You have to say say you are a speaking spirit with delegated authority let the he said let the poor say i am rich he says whoever says to this mountain be thou removed and be cast into the sea and does not doubt in his heart but believes in his heart that he will have whatsoever things he says he will have it now guess what it's all in god's time and you have to just obey the scripture you say let the poor say i am rich let the sick say i am here let the blind say I can see. Let the deaf say I can hear. Let the lame say I can walk. Let the bound say I am free. And whom the sun sets free is free indeed. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, uh, where's that other scripture that I just wrote? Thank you, Lord. I just wrote something down. Um, hmm. Okay, so let me just, where did I write it? That is so crazy. All right, by faith, we're just going to do this thing. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I, I, I thought I wrote something down, but anyway, okay, thank you, Holy Spirit. All right, whatever you, okay, uh, the scripture says, um, I, I just wrote it down. How crazy is this? Let me see, come on, Lord, I just came in here and I wrote something. That's funny. Anyway, praise God. All right. 
wherever the scripture is, I don't know the address, but it says when the thief comes, he snatches the word that was sown in their heart, you see? So when the Lord, the Lord says that whatever you value will increase and flow to you. See, you have to value the anointing in someone's life. See, when I'm at church, you know, I always have a pen and a paper, and I'm always waiting for the rhema. I'm waiting for the revelation. I'm waiting for what God is speaking to me from the anointing from my pastor. I'm waiting to catch that nugget, to catch that thing that is for me that day. Now let's let, let me tell you why I do that because I value that because I'm not going to remember it. He's saying so much. I need to be able to go back at any time of the day to go back and to read that very thing that was precious to me that was personalized just for me that I can grab that I will always have that's a treasure to me. I value that a that he has because he has spent time in the secret place with the Father to get that nugget, to get that precious revelation that he can give to the flock, to the sheep. Amen. So he's my shepherd, I'm his sheep, and I value that anointing because I know what it cost him to be able to come deliver it to me. Amen. So anyway, I get a pen and guess what? I don't want the enemy to come and to snatch that precious seed, that anointing, that revelation, that rhema word that was sown into my heart. So I write it down. And because I'm a good steward of writing it down, now I'm a partaker and it flows to me because I cherish it and I value it and it is important to me. Amen. Whatever you cherish and you value, it will flow to you. Or if not, the enemy, he, the thief, he's going to come and snatch that word. So so he's not snatching anything from me anymore. So anyway, I had something written down, but obviously the Lord didn't want me to write it down so it could be raw and he could just bring it out. The only thing is I don't have the address, but you can, if it ministers to you, maybe you could go and research it for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Go in the word yourself and go and seek it and search it. So anyway, um, thank you, Holy Spirit. So the title of this nugget today is, If You Don't Seize It, You Can't Seize It. So thank you, Holy Spirit. Here's another thing. Whatever the Lord has placed upon your heart, you know, you can't share your precious pearls with just anyone. You see, because they'll trample your pearls. All right, sometimes you got to just put them on a shelf, but you got to, like Mary, pondered it in, in her heart. You got to hold your precious pearls. You got to hold whatever the Lord's given to you. If He's given you, um, told you something that you're going to do that has some great and mighty plans, He said, I has not seen, nor ear has heard, nor has it ever entered into the heart of man, the things that God has prepared for those who, who love him. He says, call unto me, and I will answer you, and I will show you great and mighty things which you do not know. So anyway, whatever the Lord has shown you in the natural, it might look like, oh God, how could that come to be? Put it on the shelf, ponder it in your heart, and just keep confessing it and believing it and declaring it and decreeing it. And you want to have Holy Ghost alignment for your Holy Ghost assignment. Your job is to believe God and to agree with Him and to say, Yes, Lord, I believe it. I receive it. I thank you, Father. And whatever you need to do to bring that thing to pass, I thank you for it. I thank you in it. I thank you through it. And I believe it. I'm a believer. Therefore, I'm a receiver. And I'm a decreer. And I'm a declarer. Amen. Okay, I love you today. Oh, nine minute nugget, man. Are they ever going to be short and sweet? Okay, I love you today. Be blessed. If you can't seize it, you can't seize it. If you're having trouble seeing something, then you ask the Lord, say, Lord, if there is any obstruction, if I have any blinders, any tentacles, anything standing in the way from me being able to see, I bind every spirit of blindness. I bind... Um, 
uh, every spirit of hopelessness and despair. I want to believe and be in agreement and alignment with your word and your promises, God. So therefore, um, let the poor say I am rich. Okay, I'm getting carried away. The anointing's gone. I love you. Be blessed. Stay tuned for the next little nugget. Peace in. That surpasses all understanding. Bye now.